All right, hello everyone. Joy Higgins here, your realtor in North Carolina and California. All right, so we're at this property. Um, the address is, because I don't remember. Ah, got it. The address is 6421 Raleigh Hill Road in Wendell, North Carolina. All right, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check it out. And this is my first time walking through, so what, how I express myself. It's real. All right, and I can't have you guys seeing this part because legally I might try to come up in here and take over. And then next thing you know, you have a little house party and then we have a problem. And then I get in trouble because guess what? I'm an agent and I ain't handle business. We got them out. All right, let's turn that. We always take this out, okay? I always take the keys out. I put them in my back pocket so I know where they are and I always lock the door for safety. Um, I never want anyone to come in behind me. I never like to be surprised. So that's why I make sure I take those precautions. So the top lock, the dead wall is locked. So it doesn't matter the neighborhood or whatever and I always keep something in my back pocket. Hello, okay? So you always wanna have those things and you always wanna let people know where you are. Um, there is um, a certain app that unlocks the doors and it also have it where you can have your family members as a contact information in case of an emergency and it will send a notification anyway just to let them know that you're at that particular address doing a showing, okay, or that you're just there. Uh, so that's important to have and let people know, but keep a little wiggle here also just in case. All right, so this is nice. This is um, honestly the place has a little smell that um, I can uh, maybe like it's a dog or something. And do you smell it, Layla, or is it just my nose? You smell it too? Okay, she says she's smelling y'all. Y'all gonna get Layla on camera one day. All right, so this is where the washer and dryer is located. Um, um, a stove, you know, it's pretty basic, but it's here. It's something. If this was a rental property, it would be perfect. I'm not sure what it's going for yet. That will be an insert. So, um, no garbage disposal, but, you know. You have an a eating area right here. So this is nice for a starter family, I would say, for a single individual, um, even a, yeah, a very a nice size family. And when I say nice, one to two children. Okay, uh, you have, this great area right here. It's, it's a good size. You can pack some things in there. All right. Here, I'm gonna make sure I don't close your lens in. This is room one. Okay. Let's check out the closet. Let's see if it's something to talk about. Or Okay, I like this part right here. Look right here. You know, I like that. And then this is up here, so this is great. Great way to stay organized. And then you have a view of, look right now, soybeans. We don't know what it's gonna be next season. It's gonna be collard greens, cabbage, uh, tobacco. <laughs> we just don't know, we are in Zeppelin, so. All right, then we have the bathroom here. Okay, hey, um, very, it's, it's spacious enough if, if I like to, Think of it like this. If I gained a little weight, will I have space? Even the tub, I like how spacious it is. Again, there, there's no like new upgrades or anything like that, but this is good. It's really great for a rental, great for a starter. So this is number two. And okay, not the same closet, okay, but it's good. You know, and the room is more spacious than the other room, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can cartwheel two times in this one, that one. Okay, hit or miss. This is a nice size. Also, you can tell this is the... Um, Master. Well, they can't actually use that verbiage anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. That's what they just taught us in the class. Apparently, that is uh, derogatory, like slavery. I didn't know. Same thing with me. I was like, oh, we can't use that. So I'll put what the actual word is. Good thing I'm not getting tested on this right now. 
but it's um the main uh but i don't think that's the name i'll find out so this is nice and spacious so hopefully the wife doesn't have a lot of um, items but it's a great size you know oh and then this is a half bathroom right here so i'm really really liking this i, I wonder how much it costs i'm gonna let you guys know let's look at the backyard all right one two let's check this out all right all right throw it out there all right <laughs> Be careful with this. This is a hazard. Okay. So, go down this way. I will put a railing right there personally or something because I, I would, I'm too clumsy. On a crazy night, I'm falling over or something. So, this is a nice backyard. I think it goes at least all the way to where the well is. Maybe even a little beyond like where the, where the road is back there maybe i don't know i'll insert all this stuff will be inserted that i'm not sure of because again this is my first time here but i think that's a, a peach tree if i'm not mistaken uh so these are it's some beauty out here I, I love it you can do a lot under under this area right here now that it's it's not um summer even though it's hot even though it's hot it's not summer so i'm okay with walking in are gonna come out and get me. I wouldn't get too close over here because poison ivy. But uh, look at this. Look at this. I mean, look how shaded this is. It has so much opportunity for a nice size family. You can put the children's toys over there. If it's a single male, he can have his man cave where he can build with a shed or whatnot. If it's a single woman, she can have her she shed. I mean, it's so much that can happen with this property. And even with rental, if you want to put two tiny homes in the back, you can. And you can have it, really, you can have them facing this way if you want. And the only reason why I say that is because of the road back there, depending on how far back it goes. So there's so much potential. I do not know the agent. I just wanted to do a walkthrough so you guys can see what I see. And if you like it, uh, contact me. You know, we can put in an offer. <laughs> okay. But yes, Joy Higgins here. You can contact me at um, info at the, thecustomsolutions.com. So, I-N-F-O at T-H-E-C-U-S-T-O-M-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S.com. Oh, I did that right. Mm -hmm. Thank you.